Welcome to the presentation of Tim Bergen Institute's Research Master in Economics, Econometrics and Finance. My name is Bona Kritzen and I'm the Director of Graduate Studies of Tim Bergen Institute. I am the Academic Director of this Master. Before presenting the Master, let me spend a few words about Tim Bergen Institute itself. TI is the Graduate School and Research Institute of the Economic Faculties of Erasmus University, the University of Amsterdam and the FU, Free University Amsterdam. It was founded in 1987 by these three universities. It is located both in Amsterdam, where we have a dedicated location that is very close to the campus of the FU, and in Rotterdam, on the Valdestan campus of Erasmus School of Economics. The institute is named after Jan Tim Bergen, the 1969 Nobel Prize laureate in economics. TI has over 150 research fellows, nearly 900 PhD students and alumni, and some 50 master students a year. I will say more about master students in a second. TI is one of the major economic research institutes in the Netherlands. For example, on average, every year, around half of the 40 members of the yearly Dutch top economist ranking are TI fellows. And the top of this list is typically dominated by TI fellows. But let me turn to the research master. This is a two-year master. The master is the main entry door to the PhD programs of the three faculties that are behind TI. Indeed, after completing this two-year program of intense coursework and research preparation, nearly all TI students continue into a fully paid PhD track at one of the three economics faculties of Erasmus, University of Amsterdam and the FU. Nearly always, a student's master thesis supervisor will also be the PhD advisor. Okay, so this very close link between our master and the PhD program of our three supporting faculties also explains why we only take 25 students a year, because this is roughly the number of PhD vacancies that our three supporting faculty will have for our students. The master itself, the program, is very similar to that of many top universities such as Chicago, Oxford, EUI in Florence, and so forth. It is a very demanding master, designed to bring students to the frontier of knowledge so as to deliver the leading academics and researchers of tomorrow. Because of, the course, or because of the levels of the course offered, only the very best students can hope to be admitted to the program. And by this I mean we typically admit the top 1 to 5 percent of a court. The teaching body of the master is a selected group of TI fellows, and also of top researchers and lecturers from our three sponsor faculties and from other leading institutions. As I said, our research master is a small scale program. We only take 25 students a year. We thus have roughly 50 master students a year over the two years. With 30 nationalities represented in the master's since 2010, and roughly two thirds of our incoming students originating from abroad, TI provides a truly international experience, as you can see from the, the map on my left. The last third of each year's cohort is made out of students from Erasmus University, the University of Amsterdam, and the FU. And these students are typically both Dutch and non-Dutch. Now let me turn to the academic year. It's subdivided into five blocks. The first four blocks are made of eight weeks, and the last block is a bit longer. It's made of ten, nine to ten weeks. There are two blocks in the fall and three in the spring of each academic year. In the first year of the program, students will take 60 ECTS worth of courses. To be more precise, they take 13 core courses, two field courses, and actually they take three courses per block. They also take a small course in programming at the very beginning of the course and follow a seminar series. The master itself, students can choose three different tracks. The standard track, where basically students will take four courses in micro, four courses in macro, three in econometrics, one in math and one in stats, can be substituted with the finance track, which is identical to the standard track, with the exception that the students will replace a course in either micro or macro in both block three and four with courses in finance. But you can also substitute the standard track with the econometrics track, in which students are going to replace the econometrics, maths, and statistics courses with advanced version of these courses. In year two, you take an additional nine field courses, you follow a writing and a presentation course, and write a master thesis. The TI's Research Master is probably the graduate program that offers the widest array of field courses and specialization in year two. Each year, students can choose from as much as 45 different courses. This is, I believe, truly unmatched by any other program in the world. 
Uh, throughout the two years of your program, you will also follow talks and sessions on mental health and personal growth, and lectures on ethics and other research-oriented topics. So in a nutshell, the goal of year one of the master is to build foundations to ensure that all students are equipped with the knowledge and skills top scholars and researchers throughout the world typically have. And year two focuses on turning students into active researchers by bringing them to the very frontier of knowledge in their main field of interest. Now, I said a minute ago that at TI students all follow tasks, uh, talks sorry, on sessions on mental health and personal growth. To the best of my knowledge, we are the first program to include explicitly such activity in our master program. We do this because we believe that the students who are admitted to our program have all they need to become successful academic and researchers. So we view them as future students, PhD students. We just want to ensure that the pressure and stress that comes with a high-profile program such as the one we offer does not impede students to fully deliver their potential. Also, and this is another TI peculiarity, I believe we do our best to ensure master students don't compete with each other. Students need not worry about their performance relative to that of others in their cohort, because as I just said, each student that is admitted to our program is so because we believe they have what it takes to become top academics and researchers. We just strive to put students in a cooperative environment in which they help and support each other, in which they can fully blossom and deliver their potential. For example, course assignments are group assignments. And year two funding opportunities are based on individual performance. And our budget is large enough to offer all year two students a full scholarship if they meet the GPA requirements for such a scholarship. So how do you get into the master program? Students need to apply via our own applications admission portal, which is visible on the webpage of the Timbergen Institutes when admissions are open. The link you can also see on the slide. Admissions open around the end of October, and there are two main application rounds, with deadlines on December 1 and February 1. Students who are already studying in the Netherlands can also apply until May 1, but one does have to bear in mind that we only have 25 slots a year, so applying late carries some risks. Because our master is one of the main entry doors to our PhD program, the motivation letter, the statement of purpose, is very important. Together with your writing sample, a thesis for example, it allows the selection committee to form an opinion about your research potential. Therefore, please do not underestimate the importance of the letter and the writing sample. In terms of previous academic performance, as I said before, we typically admit students who are in the top 1 to 5% of their cohort. Your reference letters and your GPA are going to be key here, okay? So if the information we receive makes the selection committee think that you're not top 1% to 5% material, you're almost sure to be out. We also rely on past students and their performance in our master to form an opinion about how good a fit you are for our program, depending on where you come from. Students who have to take a GRE test must score at least 160 on the quantitative part to be considered by our selection committee, but I want to insist that the typical student we admit never has a GRE below 167 or 168. Most actually have a perfect 170. Now, students coming from a Dutch university do not have to take the GRE test, but taking it and reporting a high score, of course, can only help and will help you get noticed by the selection committee. Finally, each year we strive to have a diverse group of students. We just pay careful attention to student characteristics and origin, but I want to stress that we have no quotas for any group. Our main focus is excellence and research potential. Most admitted students receive an offer with some form of financial support for their first year. An important minority receives a full scholarship. Now, I don't remember exactly the numbers, but roughly two-thirds of our first-year students receive some or partial scholarships for year one of the master. So the available of funding opportunities is big, and it's even greater for year two. Finally, PhD positions come with a full-time official employee contract at the university where PhDs are located. So I just believe that overall, our program is also very attractive from a financial point of view. If I were to describe my master in one sentence, I would say it is a small-scale, world-class research master giving center stage to students and their potential. So I hope to have aroused your interest in our master, 
You probably still have many questions. You should be able to find an answer to these on our website. There you also see how you can get in direct contact with TI staff, me included. So on behalf of all the staff and faculty working for our research master, many thanks for watching this video and goodbye.